Good morning. So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. It's day 15 of Flourish. And so I had my in-person yoga class last night, the two of them. And so in the deep of that, we did some really amazing hips. And so we're going to do some of those now. Um, so we may need the belt. Let's see what happens. But we're definitely going to go deep and wonderfully into the hips. Um, so come lie on the floor and we shall begin. So great, landing in, arrive. Super. So do grab your belt. We'll start with the belt. So start by holding on to your knee with your belt. So have your belt really short and just hold on to your knee and just pause there, breathing into your belly. And just notice what's different. You know, what's different with holding your knee with a belt than when you hold it with your hand? Breathe into your belly. Let there be a deep softening, a settling through the back of your body, through the deep of your hip. Nice. And then bring your belt to your foot, however you do that. And then stretch your right leg up towards the ceiling. And just hold on wherever you hold on and then let your arms hang so there's a weight of your arms into your belt. And let the back of your bum settle into the floor like there's a weight. Let the back of your leg lengthen. Nice. And then slide your hands down your belt until your elbows are on the floor and you're holding on really close to your chest. Okay. And then slowly lower your leg down to a 45 degree angle and then lengthen your leg up towards the ceiling. And imagine you can bring your foot a little bit closer to your face. Lengthen. Feel your arms being pulled by the belt and then all the way back up so just feel that you know what is the feeling of legness as it moves with support of the belt leg straight up above your face maybe a little bit more leg down to a 45 degree angle maybe you slide your hands a little bit lower down your belt so that your leg is now just above the floor and then straight up towards the ceiling. So I have to kind of move my arms a little bit to keep a certain tension on the belt. So my arms go wide when my leg is up. My arms are close when my leg is down. And then pause on whatever down you are. Stretch deeply down into that right heel and just pause there. Like how would you engage into the big toe side of that leg? So push into the big toe side of your belt and just feel your leg really strong. Super. Release your belt and then drop your right leg to the floor so your leg is long. Okay. Bring your right foot a little bit out to the side so that it's when you look down, it's off the side of your mat. So it's no longer on your mat, your right foot. And then slide your baby toe side of your foot up along the floor and then straighten your leg. Slide the baby foot side of your foot along the floor and then straighten your leg and just feel that. How does it feel? Like how high can you get your knee keeping your foot on the floor and then straighten your leg? How high towards your shoulder can your knee travel with the baby toe side down? Pause there and then straighten your leg. Next time we do it, you're going to lift your foot off the floor. So draw your knee up, baby toe side is down, and then continue in that same direction. Like your knee is trying to come to your shoulder. Bring your foot to the floor, straighten your leg long. So glide your right knee up towards your shoulder, squeeze at the top, your knee is out to the side, and then straighten your leg. And again, one more time, slide your foot up along the floor, knee towards your shoulder, pause there. Can you sink a bit deeper into the left hip?
Can you bring the left hip towards the floor? Can you maybe lengthen your left leg long so it floats just above the floor? So that's quite an intensity to go to, but maybe that's amazing for you this morning. So your right knee is out to the side and either your left foot is on the floor or your left leg is long or your left leg is long with your foot on the floor. See. Nice. Bend your left knee, foot to the floor. Bring your right baby toe to the floor. Stretch your leg long. Other side. Holding onto your belt. Bring your left knee towards you and squeeze it down with a belt. So what's different about this movement when we use a belt? What's changed? I have a slightly different sense of it because my hands aren't holding my shin. I have a different sense of the hip and of the contact or the bending of my knee, which is slightly different, slightly different angle with the belt and it's creating a different kind of sensation. Nice. Grab your belt onto your foot and stretch your left leg up towards the ceiling. And just pause there. Feel the base of your right hip dropping towards the floor like your bum is getting heavy. Lengthen into the back of your leg. Really just have a sense of this moment through the back and deep of your leg. Nice. Slide your hands down until your belt, you're holding quite close to your chest and then lower your leg down to a 45 degree angle. And stretch your leg up and let your leg come so that it's over your face a little bit more. Lower your leg down. And then, and so same again, I've let my hands slide further down my belt because I want my leg to go quite low. But as a result, I have to kind of feel like, I feel like I've got the reins of a horse a little bit here. And I'm widening as my leg comes up and narrowing as my leg goes down. I just feel that. Next time your leg lowers down, wherever you're putting your leg, pause there. Stretch down into the ba big toe side of your foot. So how would you really engage your inner thigh, push down into your heel? How'd your leg get super strong here? Nice. Lower your heel to the floor, remove your belt, and then bring your left foot off your mat so it's out towards the side a little bit. And then slide the baby toe side of your foot up along the floor, as far up towards your shoulder as you can. You're going to get stuck at some point. Notice the range where you get stuck. And then stretch your leg long. Draw your foot out to the side. Bend your knee so that your foot is sliding up towards your shoulder. And then stretch your leg long. Notice your range. What is the natural range that you have? Sliding your knee up. And then long. Sliding your knee up. And then long. Next time you go, you're going to lift your foot off the floor. So slide your foot up as far as it'll go. And then your foot lifts. And you can go a little bit further, bringing your knee towards your shoulder. And then stretch your leg long. And again, draw your knee up, out to the side. And stretch your leg long. Nice. One more time. Up and out to the side. And then anchor down into the right hip. Pause there, or lift the right foot off the floor, or lengthen the right leg long, and just pause in a kind of a dynamic sense of your hips. Left leg is out to the side, drawing up towards your shoulder. Right leg is long and strong. Nice. Bend your right knee, foot to the floor, slide your left foot all the way back both feet to the floor okay stretch both legs long bring both feet wide so your two feet are off your mat and they're wider they're wider than your shoulders Oop, wider than my shoulders bend your right knee draw your right knee out to the side slide your baby toe side of your foot along the floor 
And so you're trying to bring the right knee up towards your shoulder. Let your foot lift off the floor. Bring your foot to the floor, stretch your leg long, other side. Draw your left foot up along the floor. Try and draw your knee towards your shoulder. Foot to the floor, all the way down. So go for a, a frog walk. This could be a frog walk. <laughs> go for a frog walk with your knee traveling as deeply as you can out towards the side. Foot lifts off the floor, down, all the way back. One more time each side. Knee comes up to the side, foot lifts. And knee comes up to the side, foot lifts. How amazing. <laughs> Bring both feet to the floor. Sway your knees from side to side. I'm just feeling that. Super. So roll all the way over and come onto your belly. So you're going to need your belt for this, but um, you won't need it for as while. Okay, so as you rest here, your elbows are on the floor and your legs are long and back behind you. So we're going to try three or four different versions of the same movement. Bring your right hand to the floor and then draw your, it's like you lean over towards your left side and draw your right knee up. Maybe I'll go sideways. So you draw your right knee up and then stretch your right leg long. Draw your right knee up. You can slide it up along the floor to make it harder. Keep it in the air and then bring it back. Right knee up. It's kind of the same movement as what we were doing on the floor a moment ago, but it's a completely different movement because gravity is doing something different through the body. And again, one more time, right knee up. And pause wherever your right knee is up. Maybe it's touching your right shoulder. Maybe not. No, elbow, not your shoulder. <laughs> and come all the way back. Other side. So bend your left elbow, bring your hand to the floor. And then draw your left knee up. And then stretch your leg long. Draw your left knee up. Like I feel this in my throat and in my collarbones. I can feel it in, in the muscles into my head. <laughs> like it's like, I can feel it in my toes. I can feel it everywhere. It's really, I really like this movement. Next time you rise your knee up, maybe it touches your elbow. Maybe it's just that in that, in that direction. It's hard to talk. <laughs> and all the way down. Pause, drop your head down and pause. Nice. So bend your right knee and lift your right knee off the floor. And then keeping your head on the back of your hands, bring your right foot over towards the left side and just pause there. Breathe into your belly. Can you really keep that right elbow down as you try and imagine that your right foot's going to come to the floor behind you? Nice. Come all the way back. <laughs> I get so excited when I start making up new movements. So bend your left knee. Lift your left knee off the floor and then try and bring your left foot over towards the right. And just really let there be time and space and your left elbow staying on the floor. Your left foot is imagining that it's going to travel backwards and towards the floor. Mine's not going to like, for me, the floor isn't so available, but I have a direction. I have a gesture. I have a, a sense of a reaching in my body towards something. I sound come all the way back. And then just travel from side to side. Bend your right knee. Bring your right foot over towards the left. Back to center. Bend your left knee. Travel your foot over towards the right. Back to center. One more time each side. Bend your right knee. 
right foot over towards the left center bend your left knee left foot over towards the right and back to center cool so grab your belt and have it out in front of you and it's quite wide i'm kind of at um i'm wider than my shoulders with my arms You can see me better now. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so. So just pause, holding on to your belt. Stretch down into your legs, push your feet down, squeeze your bum. So it's like you're trying to really imprint your legs into the floor. And then lift just your toes off the floor or the front of your feet. And when I say just, it's like a small movement. And so the whole from everything from my knee down is hovering off the floor. Okay. And then slowly bend your elbows and pull your elbows so that you're pulling back into lawnmower, double lawnmower. And then reach your arms long, relax your bum, relax your feet, drop down. And then rising up, let your toes lift, your feet lift, pull your elbows back. And then reaching long, drop your head down, drop your feet. Just feel that. How do you rise? And how do you drop? How do you rise? How do you drop? And again, rising, pause. Toes are off the floor. My toes have reached a bit higher off the floor now. And I'm pulling my elbows deeply back. Nice, reaching long, drop your head down, turn your head to the side. Pause. So one more variation of this. So instead of pulling your elbows back, you're going to let your face float off the floor. You can do whatever feels comfortable with your legs, see what you need to do or what you want to do. And then lift both hands off the floor. And then how high can you lift your hands? And then lowering down, drop your head, relax. And again, how high can you lift your hands? And lowering down, relax. Last one. How high in wellness can you lift? And pause, breathing into your belly. <laughs> lowering up, go down. So bring your elbows to the floor. Start with your elbows on the floor. Push your elbows down. Walk your knees a little bit in. Come up into your onto your hands and knees. Round your back. Pause there in the rounding. And then gently arch your back. So move really slowly. Rounding your back. Look towards your navel. Arching your back. Look forward. Rounding your back. Look towards your navel. Arching your back. Look forward. One more time. Round your back, look towards your navel. Arching, look forward. So the same movement again, but in a different plane. Draw your right knee out to the side and then draw your right knee up towards your right shoulder, right elbow. Stretch your right leg long and sweep your right foot around the corner towards the left and pause there, looking back towards your foot over there on the left side. Draw your right knee up towards your right elbow, shoulder, and stretch your leg long around the corner and again knee up towards your shoulder long and around towards the left last one knee up towards your shoulder and long cool other side left knee up so bring it out to the side and then up 
leg long around the corner. Knee out to the side and then up. Long and around the corner. Last one, knee up and out to the side. Leg long and around the corner. Come rest into your child's pose. All the way down, long in your arms, bum is dropping back towards your heels. Support your head in whatever way feels right for you. Nice. So come sit or come lie down. So this is the lying down or the sitting moment. You have a choice. So either come sit or come to lie down and just pause. In this moment, as you sit here, as you lie here, where is your wellness? Where is that sense of okayness within you? Slowing your breath down, feeling your breath. There is flourishing. You can flourish. You are flourishing. Nice. So come lie on the floor, come rest, pause or sit there for another while and just feel into your body. You just have a deep sense of this moment, this you know, unfolding awesomeness that is you. Um, really like that. Yeah, I like those legs out to the side and trying to navigate how I, how I coordinate my torso to lift my leg. Um, I feel things yeah, in the deep of my torso that have to move and connect and strengthen to do that. Yum. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah, nothing, nothing in particular. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thursday, uh, May, still no real sunshine since the weekend, but that's okay. Uh, the garden's getting watered by all this rain. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Ciao. Slam.